channel. So today I have a few products to do for a February favorite. I'm gonna start off with hair care. The first thing I have is the Deep Steep uh, Glossy Smooth Conditioner. It's really, really great, I love it. I'm not natural, um, but it still leaves my hair feeling really soft and manageable. Um, I got mine from TJ Maxx for a little under $10. And this one is sulfate free, so it's really great. And like the first five, seven products are all natural leaf extracts. And then I have this shampoo, this macadamia natural oil rejuvenating shampoo. It's color safe, sulfate free, and paraben free. And it smells amazing. It kind of smells like a uh, like coconuts and pineapples put together. If that would be a pina colada. So it smells like that and it's really great. Um, so yeah, I love this one too. Especially if your hair is dry, like this one isn't really drying my hair out. So this shampoo has been everything for me. Um, some more hair care products. I have this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. It was um, like a small size from Sephora. And I believe it was also under $10. It's a 5-in-1 styling treatment, and so I kind of use it as a leave-in conditioner after I wash my hair. It feels really soft. Um, the consistency is kind of like a leave-in conditioner. It's not really thick, um, but it is really creamy and soft and velvety, if that makes sense. And that's how it leaves your hair feeling. So that one's awesome, too. Um, my last hair care product, kind of, is this um, Organics Argan Oil. Um, Argan Oil of Morocco. This is amazing, especially like for these winter winter months. It's really cold and the wind is really harsh on our hair. So I usually put this on my hair after um, I do some type of cream. So I might use the Perfect Hair Day or just any kind of uh, styling cream because oil is going to seal that cream into your hair. So um, yeah, this one's really light. Um, it's not heavy. So if your hair is like mine and can't take heavy oils, I would really recommend this. Um, my last big hair care product is a styling product, and it is this T3 uh, flat iron. It's really, really great. I got mine from Ulta, I believe, for under a buck fifty, I believe. So like one thirty, maybe one twenty nine. But it's really, really nice. Um, the plates in the middle are amazing. Like they don't um, get scratched up. It evenly heats your hair. This is the T3 Single Pass family. So I love it. Um, my hair straightens really quickly with this, especially sometimes when going in between relaxers. Um, just really, really great product. And it has like a little heating dial here. You can see that on the side. You kind of choose your temperature and an on-off switch. So this one's um, one of the most, um, I guess like the starter level flat irons, but it's really, really great. Great quality for the money. So I have a few um, skincare products. Okay, so this one is the Dior One Essential. It's um, a skincare product that's supposed to detoxify your skin, regenerate skin, um, skin cell growth, and boost radiance. And I must admit, it's a great product. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. Kind of, not creamy, kind of like egg yolk, if that makes any sense. I like egg yolk. Um, it smells like flowers, because Dior is great for using his flowers and everything. Um, this is a great product. However, personally for me, I didn't have the best results from it just because my skin produces a lot of toxins. And this product is going to pull the toxins out of your face. And so if your skin is full of toxins and it's consistently pulling the toxins out of your face, you're going to have a breakout all the time. So I would recommend getting a sample size from your Dior counter and finding out kind of how it works with your skin before you buy it. Um, but I have seen it work miracles on other people. Um, they love it. They rave about it. So um, I use it whenever I have like a pimple that's forming and it's not there yet. I just dab this on it and kind of treat it as like a spot treatment. So if your skin does have a lot of toxins, I recommend that for you because it's good for pulling out stuff in your face. So my next one is this Osmotics Lighten FX. Um, I'm kind of in between having acne and not having acne, and so where I did have a lot of 
these um, breakouts, I'm having some dark spots and scars. And so this product has really helped to lighten them up. It's, I mean, almost night and day from how it was when I first started using it. And this one I got, you can get it from any beauty store, Sephora, Ulta, I believe. And I don't remember how much this one costs, but I will put it in the description box below um, for your records. And then my moisturizer that I am in love with. This is the Bliss Triple Oxygen Plus C Energizing Cream. <sighs> I have oily skin. And so one of the things that I struggle with most often is my skin always looking really greasy and oily no matter what I put on it. Well, with this moisturizer, I'm not having that problem as much. Um, this was a 1.7 fluid ounce jar. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's pretty much empty. But it almost looks like a souffle, but when you pull it out, it's really light on the skin. Um, I use it morning and night, and it's really great. It gives me a nice, healthy glow. So moving on to some makeup products. I am in love with this Meron Pro Coloring. As you can see, it has a lot of use from me lately. It's really, really great. Um, great for special effects makeup if you're going to do some type of bruising or if you're trying to make your skin look a whole totally different color. Like, it's amazing. It's really, really creamy. The color um, payoff is beyond gorgeous. It's extremely pigmented. So if you're doing any type of special effects makeup look or bruising or anything like that, go for this one, Maram. Um, Pro Coloring Bruise 505B, and I got that from Maron.com. You can get it from um, Maron.com, or you can get it from any special effects store that you have near you. Okay, so I also have the Wolf Face Art and FX Palette, the Essentials, and these are just your primary colors, pretty much. Really great palette. Um, I add water to these colors whichever one I need and it really just gives me a really rich um, pigment and um, you can build these and mix them. I just mix them on a separate palette. Whoops! So this is what they look like each one. You can pull it out separately and it has like a little clear cover on it and I just add water to my brush and dip it in and get started. So these are really really great and they're affordable. I believe this one is under $30 and I got this at a special effects store in Raleigh. So, two more products. Um, I love BH Cosmetics. I'm sure you guys do too. And this 120 color palette is everything. It's amazing. Um, I love to use it to add pop when I'm doing an eyeshadow or a special effects look. Um, they're just really, really, really great colors. Especially if you add your um, MAC Fix Plus spray to them. They really bring some color out. And they're just really fun to play with. You can create a lot of things with this palette. And I believe this one was uh, under $15 from bhcosmetics.com. And I love, love, love this. It gets so much wear and tear. Um, yes, thank you so much, BH Cosmetics. This is awesome. And my last thing is uh, this MAC pigment. Oh my god. This reminds me of a palette that I saw from Call Me Bubbly. And it's discontinued through MAC right now, but it was everything that you could ever hope for if you're looking for that perfect bronze summer eye. Well, this pigment um, has the color that I was in love with. And this one is called Copper Sparkle. And it's, oh my God. I would open it, but it'd get everywhere. But this color is amazing, and I love it, and I think you will too. So that's all I have for February, my favorites. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, check out my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook pages for more tips and tutorials. Have a great day. Bye.